game, but in this matchup, uh, I, I like what EG's got. They okay. have a very strong uh, a team fight. We're gonna group around and uh, ways to amplify damage coming out from the bear. I don't think bear's gonna be contested in the lane at all. Uh, there's some kill threat. Uh, from Tidehunter and Skyrot Mage, but I don't think it's doable on Bear. Like, it might be Vorlock, who's out of position, that could potentially die with the double slow from Gush and Ancient, uh, and the uh, Gush Shot. Well, Here Na'Vi, they, they come straight in, but that all over the top of Na'Vi, and the Fatal Bonds on the V-Tune and Sweden strong, means Chaos Knight completely out of position now. He's gonna have some axes chucked at him, he'll walk to tier three, and now, that's not his base, right? Allow himself to die, it's absolutely... Max, maybe not right now. Because he, well, he's going inside the enemy jungle. Coil snaps on bottom. Yeah, I bet. Makes his first rotation onto the Chaos Knight. He's popped his one. Still has that help with the regen going. VG under his tower turns the fight, but there are too many members of EG down here. So they want to keep this push down bottom going. I, I would say that he should have gone and cleared these stacks maybe if there was one more stack but i don't think it's worth it you're giving laundry the free farm completely on the top which means that he is getting a solo xp and he's level six and a half right now died level five i can't believe how long they've kept that catapult alive it's seven minutes 20. finally dies i think the tier one bottom lane around half health with that first push coming in from eg as RTZ will filter back in towards his own jungle to spot the Tidehunter. Halfway through level 5, so no ravage yet. And with the arrival of Crit, Cookie the Bear, catch out Lays and take him down, while Abed being hunted by no one. Sans stop with the Ancient Seal, but he's got the Orb and the backup of Fly here to give him the heal. Time during the Dream Coil, remove the silence, and most of the time you do live because of it. And you've also got the maybe slight shift for the puck as well against the Void Spirit. We've seen a lot of Witchblade rushes, but Arbed here opting to go for Treads. the Treads, yeah. the Wand, have that extra stats and maybe a little bit more tankiness when no one is making the jump on him. So lots of adaptations coming out of these mid lanes. Arbed dodges, it just dodges the Penitence, yeah, it's a, it's a projectile apparently. Oops. Nice little play. And no one gonna steal out the small stack. Clears the camp with ease. Evil Genius is gonna be feeling pretty comfortable the way things are going though. Especially is available. If they can find VTune down here. Did get his armor delivered in, but with a roar and a coil, he won't last long. Gets the Phantasm out, one illusion comes. Flying and dive mid lane as well, but the key Trying objective here is V-Tune with his armor toggle still finished off. The scatter blast then the axes while Fly dies. Good move from no one. RTZ also getting involved. He's gonna clean up. Clearing out. No way Chen lives here. He doesn't have boots. The lone Druid, uh, or the Spirit Bear with Faith oh. Boots, is gonna be able to chase him down. Oh, why is he so slow? Ice armor slow. Oh. Oh, a bounty nice rune! Reward. Yes, come on, Solo! One of the oldest players on the field right now, but not easy instead. And a coil on no one. Oh, he's out of position here. The Ancient Seal starts as a pipe with Illusion Rune, and that Golem dropped. Means Fly helps Nightfall claim the life of no one's Void Spirit. A good rotation. They did manage to take down the tower. And look at this army. Illusions, Bear, a Warlock, Golem. Over the Cat's Bolt. This is the problem. Like, Navi doesn't have a hero that can defend the tower when EG groups as five. Well, they see Tide. Well, he, he's not going to ravage up. here. There's no way because uh, he I is. Uh, along with the fish. The rest of the team is not there. Good moves from EG. Being able to just. Uh, they might continue and they might uh, see what happens. Is this is something attack. that panel mentioned that they Radiant's need someone to park in front of the tower. Attack. Like, Tidehunter is that hero, but if he doesn't use Rav. Other than just an area of the map. There's no tier one to take, so this is really about sucking out all of the farm from Na'Vi and maybe catching a kill or delays Tide. The roar gets popped up by the Kraken and gets the Ravage out in time. Arbet jumps away from the Mystic Flare and Solo hunted down by Arbet and the Golem. Cookie forward, but unable to really track back far enough to catch the check. Another orb maybe allows Arbet to jump on in while V2 comes forward. Armon on for these fatal bombs. Incredibly annoying for Na'Vi. Taking out Solo's Chen and EG just keep on going. But this is exactly the fight that the EG wanted, where they go in, they force a bad Ravage from Tidehunter. It comes down to Krent using Mortimer's Kisses, Cookie on a mid lane, and they did clear a lot of these uh, Chen creeps. Meanwhile, on the bottom yeah. lane, Arteezy did deal some damage to the tier 3 tower. The damage that means that it's gonna be 
back online in 10 seconds. Oh, Arteezy, very bold here. Good kisses. He's got the artillery fight coming from Crit. He sets it up, gives him the coordinates for it. Landed beautifully in by the snap. Now the ancient shield though, starting him up. Trapped in place. Uh, no one gets the kill, but Crit and the gang arriving on the scene of the crime. Harped picks up a dominating streak and looks towards Lays. No, they shift towards no one instead. The Yule Scepter gonna get him away from the coil, but he's stunned up by the scatter blast of dragged back in with the reality rift, and Lay's gonna try to anchor smash and gush it down. No one straight into the middle with a big ravage with the goal of holds him in place. Crit will fall first. Arteezy on the run back as Arbet trying to bring down no one's void spirit with his coil up on him. He is leashed and trapped in a great kill from Arbet. He's Can ready to clean up. Into more Nightfall Gush, but Vichun, he's battling back, giving it into our bed. He's Ancient Seal Silence, but he's, he's still able to push so many more spells. Navi can't contend with his puck. And kisses one more time on Lace. And now it's time to go inside a bit. They do have the damage, they do have a sustain from Vorlock. Be able to find Sweet and Strong. Oh, he has the coil on him. Ancient Seal came out very quickly. Well, look at EG. Two heroes straight down to bottom, beelining towards the Scarath Mage. Scatter Blast and the Cookie Miss. Zoning tools for Crit, though, to allow our bed to get the kill. So, usually, fortifications are you know, impregnable, untouchable, and maybe with lasers jump in, they can do just that. Focusing the bear, low drift, let it quick, they call them in, and the kiss is landing, they get off to all the bear is down, but the return in from EG takes down no one's void spirit, and lasers will follow quickly after. Our bed, he's the true carrier this game. The two man coil on CK and Shen, following through with a scatter blast hit from Crit. The coil. Wonderful from EG, diving deep towards Fountain. Lays has bought back, but for what? He's got no Ravage. No Ravage. Does have a right back, which did have uh, a lot of impact uh, in the previous one. But uh, yeah, he just, I don't think he's going to die here, but they will be able to clear the barracks. They decided to go on Arteezy, who did have a true form already. So it took them a lot of time. Every single time there is no Ravage, EG just goes around the map and do whatever they want. But who needs the bear? You've got the golem, you've got this ice shaman that we were making fun of earlier this morning. Yeah, the best looking creep. Look at that beautiful, beauty. beautiful face. But the bear was too quick, turned around. And not me. I'm right, trying to use this as quickly as they can. Beat you with the BKB, but the golem from Fly and the roll on to ZK. Ravage is there, and it does catch a couple of heroes, but Arteezy's so tanky, he doesn't give a damn. Just turns and fights. Sweet and strong as solo, running for the tree line. Uh, stun onto Arbe. Oh, Beat you, focus, ZK down. Down, no buyback on him. This is the signal of the end as Na'Vi crumble and they call GG. I mean, what a performance from EG. The tier one towers, the safe lane ones, and Ursa be playing uh, top part of the map uh, and always threaten the Roshan yeah, kill. Exactly, something that he loves to do as Na'Vi with an anti-mage. You no know, counter pick against the... Can throw inside a Chronosphere like other than Illuminate. Uh, illuminate. <laughs> yeah, rocket, but uh, that, that, that's not it. Nightfall. Attacked by the battery salt and oh yeah, a lot of damage from that mana burn. Gonna clear him up. He gets the high five from the tower as he dies. But a good first blood for Na'Vi onto the anti mage. Incredibly important for them. They throw the tips towards Nightfall. Man, it's been a while since I've seen this this level of creep manipulation being attempted. Blaze does have the time warp to jump away from the fuzzy wuzzy. Of our tour. Uh, he's That's dead. on cool down for a long time now, though. Easy. And there's the kill for Arteezy's bear. <laughs> Missing a few CS on the tower, though. Die Wave is under tier one. But he should be able to return. Elf and that tower protection regen. Keeping the AM in lane. Oh, for our bed. For our bed. He's going to get the vortex on the clock that illuminates some big damage and blows back. When I said region rune, I meant the fountain regeneration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They blasted him. I was not expecting that. Knight falls, gonna go for solo now. And walks the Wyvern with the leash up on him. A little bit of damage, but not too much kill threat there. So far, you know... Uh, oh, Arteezy's dead. Oh, it's Arteezy, yeah. Sweet and strong and lays. Time walk forward, it's gonna keep the... Vo Let the fun begin. Goodness gracious. Ah, ben, closing in on level nine. Going for that Kaya build that we've seen, Sand and Kaya, rather than the, the Orchid or anything like that. Just want to scale, build up into that mid game. Fly sat behind him, poking away at no one. But Na'Vi have the numbers with Solo and Sweden strong, looking to play forward in towards the Dazzle. 
slow him down with the Arctic Burn and a good push back with the Blinding Light opens things up. But Fly will die. He might grave himself and buy a bit of time. And in the end, he will eventually fall inside his own jungle. Do you need Raid Pack to move? I mean, it still deals damage if it's not but... Move it forward. Send it deeper. Solo gonna get picked up here by EG. Oh! Kill. He does get a curse onto the storm. What's the follow through like though? It's a two man chrono. Lays doesn't really have the backup damage. On cooldown. Yeah, Rocket Flare comes in, does very little now, and Lays has spent his chrono. Hook shot off the mark as well. As EG just. Wave good needs to be able to protect himself against Storm Spirit and Earth Spirit. So, good choice, very defensive, and uh, here they come. Yeah, straight onto the console. Lays looking to swing back. Time dilation slows him down, and it's easy. Hook shot did trap to the cogs, but he'll earth shot over the trap. They do have this chrono though Catch onto the Ursa and the Dazzle, so no great, no heal. And the time lock bash is landing onto Ursa so while they try to curse Arbed up. A little bit disjointed here from EG as they link and drain the damage from the void, but in comes V-Tune trying to clear up on crit. Na'Vi holding their jungle and moving forward for more. Lays, he slowed down Nightfall, uh, another blink forward from V-Tune, but no mana void and curse to lock him into place, uh, burn his mana. Invisibility. This void does have Vlad done and might be also full rate back. Yeah, he's using the courier, silence in the roll. Is it enough damage? Ooh, maybe if he can keep on chasing. Nightfall has his BKB up. Uh, Serene is strong under the Shadow Amulet. Untouchable. So that's a BKB usage for a Faceless Void kill. He, he, he wants to find an angle. Oh yeah, he's got Arteezy's, a shot. Uh, half HP. They, I don't know if they want to commit to this. Oh, he's been rocket fled, scouted. I thought that was a freebie for them, but Arvid, he wants the additional pick off to make it a little easier. Solo jumped on by the bear and hugged to death. Inside the pit, uh, but they lost the stacks from Traverse Swipes, so might need to wait out. They had this opportunity. Clockwork DPs, uh, scouts them into rocket, Arteezy gets bashed and uh, Radiance middle back tower to full HP. Mm. Crit and fly. Well, got we have a lot of healing. The high ground ward there as well gives EG the, the vision and the Radiance safety that they need to take it. They're already pinging out where the clockwork is and they make the jump with Arvin and Crit. That's the pair we wanted to see. Two spirits straight in onto him with a magnetized there. Sweden Strong is low but not dead. Gets the vision with the rocket flare again. And with Solo's D ward and a chrono going straight through onto Nightfall, no one's illuminate. It's gonna blast him down. Gray from Fly though, buys time for Arteezy to arrive. Sweet and strong in with a hookshot cog. Oh, push push back. Back. No one's griefed his mates. They get the razor. They beat you. He's gonna try and get away from this. The storm vortex is in back as they did curse Arteezy, but no damage to come his way. Good spell casting there from EG, being able to. Save wants to block it. He wants to find where Sweden Strong. Where he is. There's the hook shot in. Well, he drops an item there, Arteez. He returns to face the clockwork. And well, a tin man has a battle plan, but unfortunately, it was counteracted by Crit and Artur. Roshan also going out of his home. Come back in here. Ahmed, he just gone straight into the middle of three of them. Flies the pick up on Solo as he jumps back in with the ball lightning. And no one. He beat. He ran away. Abed on the tree. <laughs> anti mage is out for me. They're already prepared for this. Well, the bash. Straight in on him. Crit with a stun of the silence for the Winter's Curse. Solo for same B2. Lays thinking about the Chrono and going straight back in onto it, but no one. He's been backstabbed by the Nightfall Razor. Forced to BKB and run away, so Earth can now turn to a battle with the Faceless Void. Uh, TP out from the rest of Na'Vi. Storm Spirit facing off against Lays. They need to get a kill here, and they'll focus him down. One hero dies. He's on Biscardi. Oh, crit. Found out straight off the bat. Jumped in. Sweet and strong. And then That's a buyback. A finishing blow there from no one. Good buyback, you're right. And it's going to be important around this Roche pit to do just that. Then, yeah, with a little hex there and a move in with a chrono. Catching the AM inside. He's caught his own teammate and no one dies. Lays. He time walks back towards our tour, but the bashes and the hits from this overpowered Earth are going to kill off the Wraith back and look for his next target. Went to Wyman dead for him cast his ultimate himself. And now Vortex finding the AM. He silenced the stun. Features bashed him dead. That's the fight, though. <laughs> Cred just knows what's up. He rolls onto the high ground, uh, puts down a ward. He can set up base camp here again. 
Will it found in the tree? He's always the AM. Counter spell. The key target. Abyssal Blade's done the kill. He's dead for a minute and a half with no buyback money. Yeah. Nightfall did not want to risk anything. Uses refresher, hexes him again. And they've got more as well, lined up for them. Nightfall! He just solo kills the wire in a matter of seconds. You blink your eye, you miss it. Their pickoff potential is not. Both teams gonna clash and bash into each other. The hex on our tour over the jump into the back. I bet it's focused on the bottle and the wire but the curse. It's good onto the razor, but they lose the wire with the AM4. Obliterated by our TG's bear. I, I think that might be it, Gary. Like, Chronosphere lands one more time, but uh, they just don't have what it takes. And uh, Solo will call it. Uh, they had the 